Hi, Tan here. So a couple of weeks back, I got the Foxier Fox Whoop 25, as well as I decased my Hero 9 to have a naked GoPro on this Fox Whoop 25. And I've been pretty satisfied with the results of what I'm able to achieve with this combination. Now this is my first 2.5 inch Cinewhoop. So I don't have any other point of comparison against the other 2.5 frames. But my experience with this frame so far is, firstly, it's easy to build, it flies well, and it is extremely durable. Now, if you're looking to buy this frame and build it yourself, I just want to take a deeper look into the frame. Hopefully it gives you a better idea beyond the preview photos that they have on the website. Now, in essence, the frame comprises of the top carbon fiber being a single piece that accepts four motors and it meets the single piece of injection molded plastic and it screws through both of them meeting the motor at the bottom. The middle mount is a 25 by 25 mounting system that accepts a typical AIO. What I've done is I've mounted my AIO mounted to the top carbon fiber and I have a special 25 by 25 3D printed mount for my crossfire. Now ignore my blueprinted part here, but at the bottom of the frame, it is another carbon piece that has a 20 by 20 mount as well as a 25 by 25 mount. These 32, 32 silver screws that you see here are merely the carbon fibers mount to the injection molded plastic. I've actually mounted the DJI Air Unit light via a metal screw. So my screw could go from the top of the DJI Air Unit light through the bottom carbon fiber. And over here I have a printed feet so that I have a little bit elevation whenever I land. I'll put a link in the description to the STL file to print this for your own if you'd like. Now for those of you who do not have a 3D printer, I do have to warn you that these parts of the plastic piece, which are probably intended to be the landing gear, is not as long as the silver screws. So if you were to land on concrete or things like that, you would continue scrape or skid on these bottom screws. So just caution on that. They've provided two of these camera mounts. This one being the larger one, which I currently have the Runcam Wasp on. They also provide a nano variant of this same mount. And how the camera mounts is actually the screw goes through the top GoPro mount, through the middle carbon fiber, and meets this bottom nut. Now I've been seeing some shops that sell this camera mount in TPU instead of this injection molded plastic, which personally I think is worse. But just double check and make sure that the camera mount is the one that you're looking for. They have also provided some TPU parts. This is the top antenna, which accepts a crossfire, as well as your video transmission antenna. This piece over here is actually a piece that sits and it's intended to hold your RX. Now another warning I like to give you guys is to pay attention to your motor of choice. Now over here, I have the Foxier Datura 1404 motors. This was the motor that is intended for this frame. So you shouldn't run into problems if you get the Daturas. One problem another friend of mine who's building a Foxwood ran into is that his motor wires were being pushed by the curvature of the injection molded plastic over here. So if you were to get a motor that motor wires are slightly lower, the motor bell would actually crease and damage your motor wires. Specifically, the motors that he had problems with was the SpeedyB Cinewhoop motors. So look out for those. His solution was to actually file this section of the injection molded plastic. Uh, you could give that solution a try as well. Now one thing I learned from experience was that this coaxial cable in front, to keep it wedged in this little drain over here. So for me, I've opted to put that blue cable tie so that it'll basically make some pressure for the wire to stay down here. While for my capacitor placement, I've placed it at the back here. I've also cable tied it to this 3D printed part for extra safety so it doesn't droop down and get chewed up by the blades. So as for mounting your action cameras, two options, one being the standard GoPro legs and the other being a 
whatever this micro is. So this camera plate has three holes over here and you put your respective screws in and you would line up the bottom camera plate with the carbon. So you have your standard GoPro legs over here. So I'll share on the description below to this model another person did. I think it's genius. Most naked action cameras come with this protruding back thing over here. And basically this model, it bites the thick of the camera and you can basically put an M2 screw and a nut at the other end. And you can essentially slot it into the full-size GoPro legs, hence giving you the quick option to readjust your angle as you see fit. Now this 3D printed part also works with the SMO 4K, but you need to just make sure that you're using the one with the extruding back instead of this the empty one. Now I personally prefer something with a little bit of protection, that's why I've designed these. The three mounting holes at the bottom basically matches the Fox Whoops front. And what I, what I mainly like about this design is its protective nature. For example, if I just slide my camera in, slightly bit of protection while the alternative is as naked as can be. But its main flaw is that it is actually a fixed angle, meaning that you need to print the whole thing and it only serves one angle. I've designed this body type for both the for both the SMO 4K as well as the naked as well as the nameless RC naked kit. And as for the nameless RC naked Hero 9, I specifically designed this case to accommodate the fact that I have a 20mm by 20mm only fan back here. But essentially the way to install is to actually push it in between the front and the back supports and kind of flex it to sit in place. Anyway, if you're into this design, the links to download are in the description below. So that's gonna do it for our slightly closer look at the Foxier Fox Whoop 25 frame. If you have any questions about this frame, just feel free to ask me in the comments below. I have it on hand, I don't mind taking a look and try to answer your question about it. That's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching.